Hey, what's up? Abdul Rahman Hamdan here for Hamdan Films. Uh, sorry, we took a long time to make tutorials, but now we're back. We're stronger than ever. So uh, today we will be taking a look of, on motion tracking and uh, a very amazing tool, TrackerViz. Uh, so many of you think that After Effects has a bad tracker, but After Effects doesn't have a bad tracker. After Effects has a really good tracker. Uh, probably one of the best trackers but most people don't know how to use it so in this tutorial we will be taking a look on how to use the After Effects tracker uh, professionally and a tracker viz so go and import your footage I'm gonna import this drag it to the make new comp button rename it to tra king background uh, mine is a bit messed up. I recorded it with an offset lens So I'll just set that to a negative value and voila Okay, so first thing Select your your footage click track motion Okay, then click options Okay, this is a very good uh, feature in the After Effects uh, In the After Effects tracker it it can stop any time you any time it thinks it's out of uh, it's out of uh, the original place so you can tell it to stop tracking if confidence if after effects thinks that it is 80% there's an 80% chance that it is off the track so the best would obviously be 100 so I'll set it to 100 and just track position and just create a new solid uh, name it track one you don't have to name it track one but uh, I will okay sixty four okay uh, a bit smaller we track one uh, just make it a bit small and okay let's go back to our tracking okay so bring your tracking point to wherever you want to track in this tutorial I want to track this area I want to say I want to cover it so I want to pin something here uh, this is just an example it can be anything you can track stop stop uh, signs or anything I want to track okay so I'll go ahead and analyze forward oh alright uh, so what did we do stop tracking oh stop tracking for confidence is below 95 okay that will go longer um, when it stops that means it might be out of place just reposition it and keep analyzing Here, just, uh, it doesn't need to be wrong. Sometimes After Effects does a really good job. Um, some of you may have noticed this is an easy track. It doesn't require all this. Just just an example. Some actual footage require very hard work. Uh, while we're tracking, I'll talk to you a bit about TrackerViz. TrackerViz uh, basically is it, it averages the position of multiple track trackers. So you get the smoothest track possible. Uh, this alone is a really good track. It doesn't need much fixing, but I will do it just to show you how it is done. Okay. So it's almost done, and that is it. Okay, so as a target, it needs to be a solid. You can't make it an all object. Track one, and okay, and.
X and Y, make sure it's X and Y. Click OK. OK, let's go to the beginning. Let's uh, turn off the sound for maximum speed. And let's run preview it. Oops. Oh, shit. It's not responding. Oh, okay. It is. Okay, let's go to the beginning. And this is a really good track. But, uh, you know, just sometimes it moves out. It's not really smooth. It's kind of a rough track. Okay, so now that we finished this, create a new solid. Name it track 2 and position it uh, we'll track the same spot again so track motion but this time we'll track it backwards okay see this point so if we get this track good it's gonna be a really good smooth track so I'm going to an analyze backward. We're going backwards this time. So analyze backward. Okay, remember we told you to stop the confidence is below 95. This is a really good track. This, this might have been a bad example. Now I'm going to... Oops, see how here it started to go wrong. So let's analyze it forward again and go and analyze it forward, backwards, I mean, sorry. Uh, this is an okay track, the backwards might have been a bit more flickerish not steady as much okay that's it track 2 and apply X and Y okay so turn off track 1 with uh, S copy S paste and okay see this track oh and by the way I'll post a link to the tracker viz script download it's a script it's not a plugin that's why I can download it from there so okay now that we're done you can make multiple copies usually in a good professional usually in a good professional uh, movie you'd like to make more than two but four eight but this is an easy track so we, we don't need as much so we'll go to file, script, uh, run script file, I already have it here, so I'll just click tracker viz, to work with, you can work with trackers, null objects, or you can work with layers, like trackers, I mean, uh, with key f with the keyframes and all that stuff, uh, I like to work with layers, it's much easier. There are a lot of stuff here, but uh, now we will just use the average position, maybe in uh, next tutorials I'll show you how to uh, use this other stuff the layer name is tracker layer color is red layer width guide layer save it okay the guide layer means it will not uh, be showing in the final render okay and select both your layers and proceed ah, voila we have ourselves a track an average track point so that's how easy it is it's really amazing you can see it stays almost perfectly still the whole time this is a really good track last time i tried to do it it wasn't even as half as good as this okay 
so now that we've done that we can make it even smoother by doing an another two tracks differently and av and averaging them then average them with this one so you get the picture i hope this tutorial was useful uh, so thank you for watching and don't forget to comment subscribe and like if you don't if you like this video don't if you don't uh, any comments please uh, pm me so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time